Hi everyone. If you asked a passerby on the street which of the creatures living on the earth has the longest neck, what would they answer? Of course, the giraffe. And what is the most fearless predator? Why, it's certainly the honey badger. And what creature has the most unusual jaws? Well, this is a really interesting question. To answer it, you need to look at the fish and amphibians and mammals. Good thing that we already did it for you. So, let's see what's inside the mouths of different animals. Let's get it on. African Bullfrog If you think that frogs are tiny creatures that you can barely notice in the grass, you surely have never seen an African bullfrog. This is one of the largest amphibians among all frog species. Some of them reach a length of 20 centimeters. These giants weigh up to 800 grams. And yes, that's as big as a frog can get. No wonder the African bullfrogs need to eat a lot. These amphibians are simply insatiable. They prey on any small animals they can find and stuff them in their mouths. These frogs eat almost everything. Rodents, small lizards and snakes, other frogs and toads, amphibians, crayfish, fish, small birds, scorpions, tarantulas and bats. And don't forget about the insects that all frogs usually feed on. The bullfrog is too heavy to chase its prey there. Instead, it stays in a hiding spot, waiting for the victim to come closer. Then the frog either attacks the prey, swallowing it, or grabs it with a long tongue, pulls it closer and stuffs it right into its mouth. By the way, the mouth of the African bullfrog has real teeth, and so their bites are quite painful. Good thing these creatures don't don't hunt humans. Anaconda if we're talking about huge jaws, we just have to mention anacondas, one of the heaviest and longest snakes that exist on our planet today. Anacondas are so large that people still can't quite determine their maximum size. These snakes spend almost their entire life in the water or near it, looking for prey. They feed on fish, birds, other reptiles and mammals of different sizes, including really large ones. Like all boa species, the anaconda silently waits for prey, and when it approaches, it grabs it in one swift movement and strangles it, wrapping itself around. When the prey ceases to struggle, the anaconda starts feasting. The snake swallows the prey whole by gently stretching the mouth and throat. Evolution has made this possible. The anaconda's skull has flexible bones connected by elastic ligaments. The ribs of the snake are also flexible. Even if the prey is huge, the anaconda will still swallow it whole. There were cases when the anaconda got fatal injuries injuries while swallowing particularly large prey. However, it didn't stop the snake. Hippo Although children's books about animals portray hippos as clumsy animals, this is simply not true. In fact, hippos are real beasts. Despite their weight, which reaches one and a half tons, hippos can run at up to 30 kilometers per hour. They might not seem much, but just imagine this colossus rushing towards you. Hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in the world because they're very aggressive and unpredictable, and they have huge jaws. This animal has the ability to lock its jaws at nearly 180 degree angles, and it does that all the time. Thanks to the powerful jaws, the hippo's bite is really strong. For example, the bite force of an adult female is at least 8,100 newtons. And don't forget about their teeth, which sharpen themselves as they grind together. Sometimes the tooth's length reaches 40 centimeters. Actually, hippo's teeth are not designed for eating. Hippos use them only for fighting. The diet of these animals consists mostly of vegetation, though. Humpback Whale The weight of a huge humpback whale can reach 30 tons, and its age up to 100 years. Of course, in order to stay fit, the animal needs proper nutrition. Humpbacks feed primarily in summer and live off fat reserves during the winter. Despite their size, they are active hunters who catch krill and small schooling fish. Humpback whales have even developed their own special hunting techniques. They swim towards plankton with an open mouth, swallowing foods together with water. Then, when the mouth closes, the water passes through the filtering apparatus made of baleen. On each half of the upper jaw of the humpback whale, there are from 270 to 400 baleen plates, up to 100 centimeters long each. With such a huge filter, the whale easily separates food from water. By the way, it works with fish as well. 
Alligator Snapping Turtle This species lives in rivers, ponds, and channels in the southeast of the United States, mainly in the Mississippi Basin, and also in the north up to the state of Illinois. When an alligator snapping turtle is picked up, it usually does not bite, only opens its mouth wide. This is the turtle's way to intimidate the enemy. Its mouth looks really scary. Just look at its hooked beak. There is a special appendage on the tip of the turtle's tongue, used to lure in the prey. These turtles are somewhat like aggressive predatory stuff. They eat practically everything they catch, mostly fish, snakes, worms, and birds. Some of them even eat other turtles. By the way, they lure fish and other prey by sitting quietly at the bottom of the water and letting their jaws hang open to reveal the small pink worm-like lures on the tip of their tongues. What fish could resist a worm? That's how the turtle lures its prey within striking distance. After that, all they have to do is close its jaw in time. And by the way, the turtle can bite a person if it is irritated. Can you see it? And you're unlikely to notice a change in its mood in time, so it's better to stay away from it. Chinese Giant Salamander According to the ancient legends, salamanders can survive in fire. The reality is a bit different though, but no less surprising. The Chinese giant salamander is considered to be one of the largest amphibians in the world. It only lives in China. It feeds on insects, millipedes, worms, amphibians, freshwater crabs, shrimps, fish, and even shrews. Okay, let's be honest, the Chinese giant salamander just loves to eat. It has very poor eyesight though, so it's completely dependent on the special sensory nodes that run along its sides from head to tail. With their help, the salamander detects the smallest movements of the water. Crouching by the rocks, it waits patiently for its prey, which often swims straight into the salamander's wide open mouth. Using its many small, sharp teeth, the salamander easily grabs the prey, even if it's too big. When your jaws can spread that wide, it's not a problem at all. Sarcastic Fringe Head of all of the creatures in our video for today, the sarcastic fringe head has the scariest mouth. <laughs> The sarcastic fringe head is a small but strong sea fish that's very territorial. To find out who is in charge, two males open their mouths wide and press their lips together. The one with the bigger mouth is the winner. However, they don't just attack each other. A diver can also get attacked if he accidentally swims in the wrong neighborhood. Pelican since we're talking about animals with unusual mouths, we have to mention pelicans. These amazing water birds have distinctive long beaks and special leather pouches. They're located on their lower sides, can stretch to incredible sizes, and are used for fishing. Sometimes pelicans use the pouches to collect rainwater for drinking. Despite their huge beaks, the pelicans' tongues are tiny. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to swallow such large fish. While hunting, the pelican lowers its beak into the water and catches is the fish that swim close to the surface. After that, the pelican uses its beak to filter out the water in its throat pouch and then swallows the prey. Sometimes pelicans eat other birds too, as well as any small animals that happen to be on the shore. Python in 2018, a giant python swallowed a 50-year-old woman in Indonesia. All that was left of her were her sandals. This doesn't happen often, though. Pythons are one of the largest reptiles in the world, with their length sometimes reaching 10 meters. Luckily, they're not venomous, but this doesn't make pythons any less deadly. They wrap their bodies around their prey, strangle it, and then swallow it whole. The python's jaws are connected by very flexible ligaments, which allows them to stretch when swallowing large prey. These snakes usually feed on mammals, although sometimes they also eat reptiles and crocodiles in particular. A large python would gladly eat a pig or even a cow. Sometimes they can underestimate the size of their meal. In 2005, a Burmese python, the largest in the python family, tried to swallow an alligator in Florida, and its body split right open. Talk about the dangers of overeating. Interestingly enough, even though it's common for pythons to strangle their prey, green trees Tree pythons have very long teeth that allow them to hold the prey in the air while swallowing it. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.